Okay, so today I'm going to be assembling, attaching, and reviewing this door stop that I got off of Amazon. It is magnetic, it's made of stainless steel, and it's going to allow for an easy close and open um, without doing any damage to your wall, so it's gonna be a nice stopper. Personally, I'm excited about this one. I have a pit bull that likes to eat <laughs> my stoppers, um, and so I always find them removed all over the house. So I think this one's gonna be a little more heavy duty. She's not gonna be able to snack on it. She's actually snacking on some food in the background right now. Um, so I'm just gonna go over installation. I'm going to be using the user manual that came with it. So it says, step one, detach the plate of the long part with the screwdriver. Here's the long part. I'm going to be using a Phillips head screwdriver and I'm going to be detaching the plate. Easy breezy. Now that the plate is detached, I'm going to screw the plate on the baseboard. So this is my door, this is my baseboard. So I'm going to be screwing the plate on the baseboard with the screws provided. If the baseboard needs washers because it's not wood and it's not secure, you may have to use washers to attach. Um, my baseboard is wood, so I will not be needing the washers to attach. I can just use the screws that are assigned to it. So I'm going to be using these three screws to attach to the baseboard. If I want, I can use a screwdriver or I can use my drill. just be twisting it back on to fix it to and it's as easy as that to attach this piece now step four choose the right position on the door so that the two parts can align vertically then mark position with the pencil So, I have a pencil, I have my short part. I'm actually gonna attach it here. Let my door swing open. Mark with a pencil. Now it says, detach the plate using nose of a plier or flathead screwdriver. Ah, haha, I was trying to pull it, so you have to unscrew it. Does that make sense? Okay, so this part's gonna go off to the side for a second. I'm gonna use this wall plate and I'm going to attach it. So screw the plate on the door. I'm gonna be using my screwdriver and I'm going to attach it right where we lined up.
I've, det I've attached the plate to the door. Next, I'm gonna step seven. Twist to fix, and then step eight will be completion. So I'm gonna take this piece, I'm going to push it on, screw it on, and then I'm gonna check out how that product works. So See how it stays nicely but then releases nice and gentle. Perfect. And here's my culprit who likes to steal them. I don't think she'll be able to pull these off the wall like she can the other ones. So hopefully it works well for us and she's not snacking on them. No snackies. So this product is awesome. I'll show you what it looks like in the box and definitely recommend it as a good door stopper for um, keeping the door open and closed. I'm a little messy behind that door. There's the product in the box, how I received it. I'm gonna open it up, show you what it looks like. It does come with a manual, which is always helpful, some instructions on how to do the installation, which I'm gonna be, which I already did. Here are the pieces. And the accessories. So it comes with all of this and how to install make installation super easy. 